सर मिस्टर चेतन जी कोनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द रेडी मिक्स कॉन्क्रीट एब्रिवेटेड एज आर एम सी एंड द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ रेडी मिक्स कॉन्क्रीट नाउ लेट्स सी द इंट्रोडक्शन आर एम सी इज द स्पेशलाइज मटेरियल इन विच सीमेंट एग्रीगेट एंड अदर इन्ग्रीडियंट्स आर वे बेस्ड एट अ प्लान इन अ सेंट्रल और ट्रक मिक्सर बिफोर डिलीवरी टू द कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट इन अ कंडीशन रेडी फॉर प्लेसिंग बाय द कस्टमर एंड बाय सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी कैन से दैट एन एफ आर एम सी इज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड एट अ प्लेस विच इज अवे फ्रॉम द साइट इट मे बी आर एम सी इट इट इज आर एम सी प्लांट एंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट दीज आर द टू लोकेशन दीज टू लोकेशन आर लिंक्ड बाय ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑपरेशन नो एज पर अवर आई एस आई एस फोर नाइन टू सिक्स concrete mixed in a stationary mixer of a central batching and mixing plant or in a truck mixer and supplied in a fresh condition to the purchaser either at site or into the purchaser's vehicle so this is the definition given by our is now why rmc why ready mix concrete uh, shall be used several advantages are given and uh, their explanations are also given uh, let us see one by one now first is uniform and assured quality you know concrete variation is possible because of the batches at, at every batch there may be variation in the concrete and that variation will uh, uh, give some quality issue quality problems in uh, our concreting so for uniform and assured quality so factory or plant that is important factory made or plant made or factory manufactured some concrete that is called as rmc concrete so the raw material and the production process quality will be better and uniform for the concrete which is made at uh, plant so that's why we can select the rmc concrete second is durability of the concrete how it is related to durability that is because of this parameter that is the correct water cement ratio correct water cement ratio can be maintained uh, in the rmc concrete so durability of the rmc is consistent and better because on site the water cement ratio and its control is a difficult as well as very regular issue on site next is faster construction speed in site mix concrete the contractor needs to mobilize the labor for mixing as well as for placing so in rmc concrete is supplied in a placeable condition can be direct can be directly placed by pumping hence faster construction can be assured now the, uh, for a small works uh, so mobilizing the labor and play, placing um, placing of the concrete whatever team is required that is possible for big works uh, if a ready made concrete is available uh, which can be directly placed that will assure your faster construction next elimination of the storage needs so now in very metro cities or uh, the cities where the traffic is is the problem traffic is the issue so the, the stacking of raw material is a big issue nearby the site so in urban situation there is a problem of storage of raw material so uh, this will actually uh, given rise to the rmc uh, concrete that can that is used for different purposes and next is ed easier admixture addition this is one more problem after the water cement ratio control that is the how to add the admixture and its proper dosage so in rmc the admixtures can be added into controlled manner because of the use of sophisticated computer controlled methods and this is not possible in normal concreting now reduction of the wastage of the material this is added advantage or we can see saving also so rmc materials are stored in bulk and used in bulk our wastage that occurs in loose handling of cement is completely avoided this now let's see what rmc plan consists of a rmc plant with uh, some auxiliary or supporting equipment b transit mixers c site equipment for handling now for a small town the capacity of the rmc plant that is 55 to 60 meter cube per hour would meet the requirements now the working of that rmc plant we can consider 8 to 10 hours per shift okay these are the auxiliary equipments which are required for the rmc plants so so fork fork lift truck way bridge captive diesel safe storage cement silos for 2 3 days capacity front end loader 
telecommunication system, admixture tanks, site laboratory. Now let us see the typical layout and lab equipments required for RMC site and it is shown in this figure 1 and uh, the equipments which are required at the site laboratory these are also shown in this table 1. You can see this uh, site layout these are required on site. Now one more uh, uh, diagram is shown here which uh, will show you the schematic of ready mix plant. You can see here different components are shown here. So this is aggregate stacking, to cement silos, then uh, pan mixer, then uh, uh, through the way batches the aggregates are uh, store or uh, mixed in the pan mixer and finally the concrete is poured in this truck and through the truck uh, it is transported to the site. Yeah, so uh, these two batching plants are shown here uh, for your reference these uh, two batching plants are shown and this is RMC unit. Now let us see about the concrete specification. Is there any uh, separate specification for ready mix concrete? Concrete uh, RMC concrete is merely concrete manufacture away from the site with the exception of requirement for delivery. Uh, there should be no difference between specification of concrete and specification R RMC because uh, for RMC concrete is the specification different and uh, for site mix concrete different specification that is not there. Only the basic aim is that specification of structural concrete is to control water cement ratio at different levels. This is the only issue and it is to produce concrete for of different qualities. Now mix proportion specification this is one of the specification through which uh, water cement ratio is controlled through the mix proportion and the workability of the fresh concrete can be assured. Now following table shows the concrete mix information to be furnished by the purchaser to the RMC supplier. So uh, all of you can uh, see these particulars. What uh, information must be given by the purchaser uh, during every mix and load. So you can see most important grade, chemical additives, mineral additives, then water cement ratio, maximum aggregate size, target workability and whatever workability is actually uh, retained on site that you can check this is important. Then uh, exposure, uh, most important thing is concrete testing frequency and uh, any alternatives offered. These things you can see on this information. According to this information you can assess the concrete on your site. Now these are the codal provisions. Now for making ready mix concrete we have IS 4926 2003 and one more uh, code is there that is American standard testing of material score that C94. Now most important parameter in that the time that elapses from the instant of adding of water to the placement of concrete. This is most important parameter in both the codes. Now let's see about our IS Indian standard 4926-2030 general requirements and clause 5 starts with the basis of supply. Now it must comply with the requirements of IS 456. RMC concrete must comply with uh, RMC 456. Basic thing is IS 456 for that. All concrete will be supplied in terms of cubic meters and all proportioning is to be carried out by mass except water and admixture. So this is the main thing. Uh, ingredients must be, be proportioned with the mass and uh, concrete must be supplied in terms of volume that is cubic meter. Water and admixtures can be uh, used with the volume base. Now time in transport concrete shall be discharged from the truck mixer within 2 hours of the time of loading. This is suggested by our IS. For a longer period, uh, periods it may be permitted if suitable retarding admixtures are used in cool or humid weather or chilled concrete is produced in that case only. In case of this uh, time IAS TMC 94 permits only 90 minutes or before the drum has made 300 revolutions whichever is earlier. Next is sampling and testing of RMC so clause 6. For assessment of ready mixed concrete, the point and time of sampling shall be at the discharge from the producer's delivery vehicle or from the mixer to the 
side. Now this is the workability requirement you can see for slump and compaction factors these things are given 25 mm plus or minus tolerance or one third plus or minus from the specified value. If a value is specified uh, some value specified those this tolerances can be considered. Let's see one question based on this uh, tolerance. If the specified value of the slump is 100 mm what are the limits of the acceptance for workability due to delay of delivery? A is 75 to 125, B, C, D. Now you pause the video and uh, give the answer for this. It is A, 75 to 125 mm. Now uh, regarding this uh, specified strength, the requirements of IS456 must be satisfied by ready mixed concrete. Sampling can be done after every 50 cubic meter or every 50 batches whichever has a large frequency. Three specimens shall be made for each sample for testing at 28 days and for quicker idea only you can take uh, uh, models of rupture test, bending test of the concrete by taking the beams after three days. After seven days you can test compressive strength test. You can uh, test 28 days compression test but in all cases 28 days compressive strength shall alone be the criteria for acceptance or rejection of the concrete. Other things are for your uh, idea of quality that this test but only 28 days is the criteria for acceptance or rejection. These are the references for the above uh, session. Thank you.